What is up guys, Finn here and today I'm riding the DRZ. Heading to get some uh, Mexican with a couple of friends and I thought I'd take the bike because it's a pretty nice day out. I'm also wearing the new variant. I just literally just finished setting it up. I, I'm doing things a little bit differently in a little bit, but I figured for this ride I'd want to take a little test run before we go to Daytona with it. And so far it's not too bad. It's a little tight, but uh, most new helmets are. So it's squishing my cheeks. And I have no idea how the mic sounds. It could be totally awful. The wind noise could be bad. I've got one of those little uh, chin skirts on that came with the helmet. I haven't really decided if I like that or not. I don't even know if this camera angle is good. I literally just stuck the camera on, so I'm a little worried it's going to fall off. It's uh, very possible. Because you're supposed to wait like 24 hours after sticking these things on from like dry, I guess. But I waited about five minutes. I put a little bit of rubber cement on there, but I don't think that adhered very well to the helmet itself. So I had to get some super glue and try that. I super glued my last GoPro on, so I knew that thing wasn't going anywhere. But so far, so good. Of course, as always, when going on the DRZ, I'm going to be hitting the highway. Not sure how I manage to make those decisions every time, but that's what's going on. Still getting used to where the little uh, clip is for the visor to put it up and down. So that's a little weird. Another thing that's funny about this bike is uh, it's a five speed. Didn't know that. That was a surprise. <laughs> I went to shift into six a couple of times and I'm like, oh, there is no six gear. Huh. So that's a little new. But uh, once you get used to it, it's not really that different so far. It's strange because my last icon was a medium. This one's a large and feels too small. So I guess the different styles of helmet, the, the sizes don't really carry over. Probably could have used an extra large, but I think the large will be fine once it breaks in a little bit. For a stock exhaust, I don't hate it. I mean, I'll definitely be changing it, but it could be worse. A lot of y'all in the comments section gave me crap because the blinkers on here can't really be seen. But I generally will use hand signals when I'm riding a bike. I don't just trust people seeing my blinkers because they're so small anyways. Uh, I just don't trust it. So we've got a few miles on the highway, nothing too crazy. One thing I didn't hear about variants is that the wind noise is really hard to combat. Uh, I don't really have much of a dead mouse on this microphone, so I'll probably have to order one. Everyone tells me that you don't have to worry about the, the wind turbulence on the helmet with the bill. Let me go ahead and tell you, this thing is not going to be great at 170 plus. I'd be surprised if it's good at 100 plus. Because right now my head's like, yeah. But I do want to thank everyone for all the support with the DRZ reveal. Uh, Last couple of bikes I've gotten, I've gotten some hate because, you know, they're basically Dan's bike. This time I went ahead and owned up to it and said, yeah, I copied them. What, what the fuck are you going to do about it? And everyone was a lot cooler about it. I mean, of course, there were still a couple of people that were dicks about it, but I just went ahead and blocked them. So, no biggie. The only reason I'm on the highway right now is because I'm kind of in a rush. On the way back, I'm definitely taking the, the back roads just a little more enjoyable in this thing not to have to pin it the whole time. I mean, it's got a little bit more in it, but very much less. But I am so excited for our trip. Uh, me and Dan are going to Daytona Beach, Florida for the bike week. And I think we have, we're leaving Sunday. Today's Friday. It's Friday afternoon. And I am super excited, man. It's going to be so much fun. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I said this already, but one of my buddies that are meeting us up at Mexican, he actually has a Supermoto. Not exactly sure what it is. I think it's a DRZ, but I could be wrong. But I think he's riding up there, so I'm pretty excited to see uh, his bike. Hopefully we'll be able to start doing some riding together. He wasn't able to make it 
to Daytona and hang out with us. So whenever I get back, we'll have to do some riding. It's kind of chilly. I didn't wear my motorcycle pants and that could have been a uh, mistake. Other than that, I have everything on. I got my boots on, my gloves, my jacket. But I'm a little chilly. I can't wait for Florida and all that warm weather. I got a new Bluetooth setup. I'm pretty excited about that. Not really sure what it's called. I got it from Dan. It's his old one. He got a new one. And just asked if I wanted this one. I was like, hell yeah. I haven't had one in like six years. Mine hasn't been updated. So a new one would do me some good. This one I can actually hear and my phone will actually answer phone calls through it. I had the Scalarider Q2 before this. I don't know what this is called. I'll try to find out and put it in on the screen right here. But so far, I love it. And this way we'll be able to communicate whenever we go to Florida, me and Dan. The way the GoPro is cut up and the bill of the helmet definitely catches some wind when I turn my head. It's uh, very noticeable. It makes me want to like jerk my head to the side. That's not too bad. And I think it looks a lot better with a dirt bike look. You know, almost a dirt bikey helmet and an almost dirt bike motorcycle. I think it goes a little better together. This helmet probably wasn't the best bet when it comes to the ZX14 and the H2, but I think it'll be just fine as long as I keep tucked and don't try to like come up and rip my freaking head off. This is only the second ride I've had on the DRZ and not gonna lie, I love it. It's fucking amazing. Look at that dick sucker fucking out there just sucking dicks. Like go ruin someone else's day, you fucking asshole. I just hate that, like cool you need cops because people do bad stuff but like just sitting there in the same spot just waiting for one person to go too fast I think it's just like total and utter bullshit and that is one of the reasons I hate cops man I mean I've met a couple of good cops now that we had that podcast and I think we're gonna have another one coming up soon not sure what the topic is but yeah Dan thought I hated it because everyone kept calling me drunk on it because I was pretty drunk on it but I enjoyed it. I had a good time answering everyone's uh, questions. You know, the, the live thing's a lot more fun. That's why I'm enjoying Twitch. If you uh, go on twitch.tv slash spin with spin, you'll be able to watch me play some video games. Pretty badly, I might add. I'm no professional by any means, but I'm working on it. That was as much of a torture test as I could ask for for the GoPro. Uh, that's as fast as I'll be going with it so far. But the, the DRZ did not like that downshift. It was like, hey, not yet, motherfucker. I could really use like an RPM gauge on this thing just because I'm not used to it yet, but I'm sure it'll become a little more natural once I start riding more. My legs are chilly, man. They got like windburn on them because it's so cold like maybe 40 something degrees out i cannot wait for that summer well not just summer but in florida it's going to be like hopefully in the 70s that's going to be awesome yeah i think i mentioned this guys but if i didn't i got this bike at wow they hooked it up bad i can't appreciate it more they're always too good to me it's also where i got my helmet if you guys need a bike or maybe you're interested in the cbr i traded in for this Go talk to them, man. They, they'll really work a deal with you. They are uh, awesome, man. They have such a huge inventory. They sell all kinds of gear, and if they don't have it in stock, they'll get it for you. That's bikes and gears included. They didn't have the H2 whenever I asked for it, but 14 days later, sure enough, they got it. So they are uh, awesome, man. I, I can't thank them enough. So be sure to check them out. I'll have a link for them in the description. This is actually my fourth bike I've bought through them. Gosh, I'm so excited for Florida. I really can't wait, man. I'm bringing my drone, the DSLR, my GoPros, and we're just going to have a freaking awesome time. I think we're taking my truck. We may end up taking Dan's. I'm not 100%. But we're going to bring a trailer in my truck, but the place we're staying doesn't allow a trailer. So I think I'm going to take the tonneau cover, the little cover on the back of my truck. I'm going to take that off and see how the bikes fit. Because... 
we'll just see. But I love my truck, man. I'd like to see how it does on a trip. Really excited. Uh, I know I was talking about moving. We finally found a house. I'm closing on it soon. And this is actually kind of the area that I'm going to be in. So super excited, guys. Uh, this is a great area. Uh, I still had to make the video on why I'm moving. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just uh, in a nutshell, it just wasn't the right place for me. And just uh, a couple other things that I'll go over in another video sometime. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go get some Mexican food, and then I will talk to you guys later. All right. It's really cold. See you, man. I'm heading home, my GoPro's dying guys, so if you enjoyed this video whatsoever, make sure you give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet guys, please hit that subscribe button, I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. Till next time, peace. Couple of kids watch the channel.